All right, so if you need to make a lot of cordage really fast, braiding is your next best option. Ideally, you want them equal thickness, if you can get them that way. So if we have this yucca and they're all unequal, the braid won't be as good. Ooh, I already tore that one. So let me untie that. Actually, let me just break that off. All right. So I'm going to tie a knot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to braid. I'm going to tie a knot. It's going to keep everything in place. Now I need something to pull against. Some people will bite it. Some people will hang it in a tree or on a little tree limb. Something to pull against. Christina, just hold that top part. So a lot of you probably already know how to braid. So I'm, I'm taking that center piece. And I'm going to go left over center, right over center, left over center, right over center. I'm going to keep repeating that process, but you see how much faster I've already, in just a couple of seconds, almost exceeded what I did with, with reverse wrap. Now, you, these, these strands could have been reverse wrapped, and I braided them, but I need tension. I need to be able to pull against something, otherwise I will weaken the braid because I want it to be tightly bound. Because if it's too loose, then it weakens it. Now what's gonna happen is, you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna have to add a piece in. So I got to that point where I, I need to add a piece in. I normally always put it in the center, just because it's easier for me to look at. I'm gonna splice this piece in. You could wrap it together if you wanted to, or just hang it over, it doesn't matter. But I want to see it, and I'll dress that later and make it look better. So since that went to center, that means the right comes over that, left comes over that, right comes over that, and I've just spliced that in. You don't want to put your splices too close together. All right, so I, I want them at least an inch apart, if not two inches apart would be ideal. Sometimes you can do that, sometimes you can't. And I just continue to braid. If you put your splices too close together, it'll weaken that braid quite a bit. And I just go all the way down until I'm ready for my next splice. So I try to lay them in there so that there's two or three inches difference between each strand. And this is how we're going to make our cordage at the end of the class for the shelter tomorrow. We're going to make it out of yucca strands. You may want to trim those down if they're a significant different difference in width you just keep doing that but you got the idea and then when i'm done i just tie another knot at the end let's test that grab up here at the knot and let's pull it'll probably break at the splice keep going it didn't break at the splice so that's good so just because you spliced it in doesn't mean that's the weakest area 